In this video, I'm going to share my step-by-step -step method to write a strong problem statement for your research paper, research project, thesis, or dissertation. Problem statement is usually one of those areas that you get comments from your examiners or reviewers. But following my approach, you can write a strong problem statement that would impress your examiners and reviewers. A problem statement is a concise, clear, and concrete summary of your research problem you seek to address. Put it simply, a problem statement explains the issue that needs to be studied. A problem statement should establish a context for your audience, define the problem within this context, and propose a solution to the problem. It should be straightforward and easy to read, and quickly explain what the problem is, why there is a need for research, and how you intend to do it. Let me share my step-by-step -step method for writing strong problem statement. Problem statement consists of four parts to address four main questions. Question number one, what do we know about the problem? Question number two, what we don't know about the problem? Question number three, why do we need what we don't know about the problem? And question number four, how do we want to know what we don't know about the problem? Now I want to explain the details that you need to provide in each of these four parts. In the meantime, please show your support for this video by writing a comment on this video and like the video because YouTube algorithm loves comments and likes. Number one, what do we know about the problem? In this part, you need to explain what we know in the real world and what we know from the academic literature. To support what we know in the real world, you can refer to industry reports, government reports, statistics, newspaper articles, and any evidence that explains what the problem is. Then you need to briefly explain what the current state of knowledge in the literature is and what research has found about this problem. For this part, you need to cite research papers and particularly recent studies and review papers. Number two, what we don't know about the problem. In this part, you need to highlight the research gaps and what your research aims to achieve. In other words, what's the contribution of your research? You may explain the contributions of your study by addressing theoretical, practical, and methodological contributions. I posted the link to my video on research contributions in the description below. In that video, I've covered all three main contributions in detail. I understand that you may address the research contributions in detail in another section, but you need to briefly discuss them in problem statement as well. Depending on the topic of your study, your field, and the style that you are following, this part can be from two to three sentences to one to two paragraphs. Please keep this in mind that problem statement should be concise, clear, and concrete. Number three, why do we need to know what we don't know? In this part of the problem statement, you should highlight the importance of this study. What's the significance of this study? Why do you need to spend, for example, $100,000 or a few years of your life to know what we don't know about this problem? What will happen if the problem is not solved? What are the consequences of not solving the problem? What are the future benefits of solving the problem? Does the problem have a direct or indirect impact on society, community, or people's lives? These are helpful questions that you should ask yourself to be able to write this part of the problem statement. Depending on the format that you are following, you may combine this part with other parts of the problem statement. Just ensure that you clearly address them in your problem statement. By the way, when we talk about the importance of the study, it doesn't mean that we need to do something world-changing. Your research problem might be something simple, but it needs to be researchable, feasible, and clearly address a relevant issue in your field. And finally, number four, how do we want to know it? In this part, briefly explain how you want to achieve the objectives of the study. So it's about the process, methodology, and methods of your study. Again, this needs to be very brief. We don't want to repeat the whole methodology section here. So in summary, strong problem statement consists of four sections. Number one, what do we know about the problem? It means you need to show that you have done a very good literature review and you are aware of the current body of knowledge. Number two, what we don't know about the problem. And here you need to highlight the research gaps and contributions of your study. And number three, why do we need to know what we don't know? Here you will discuss the significance of your study and why conducting this study is important. And number four, how do we want to know it? In this part, very briefly explain your methodology and methods to achieve the research objectives. Thank you for watching this video. To support me and boost this video in the YouTube algorithm, please leave a comment on this video and like it. I read all comments and reply to all of them. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay updated about my future videos on research and publications.